So we, it took us a whole week to get here, but we got here. We got to Flandreau with everybody. In Mankato, the final leg of a journey by horseback that began more than 300 miles away in South Dakota. Among the riders, Melissa Dennis of the Cheyenne River Sioux. And in those days it was snowing and we couldn't see and just, just that thought in your head, you know, if our people can do it, we can do it too. Their destination, Reconciliation Park in Mankato, where on this date in 1862, 38 Dakota men were hung, convicted of murder for their roles in the U.S.-Dakota War. Um, I am actually a descendant of the White Dog family that was hung there. Stop running! Descendants and others gathered on this blistering morning to honor those who died on the gallows here with one stroke of a soldier's sword. I stand here today to say how deeply sorry I am to the families who lost loved ones on this space. I think if you're outside of Mankato, you'd go into a public school in Minnesota. I don't think many would know that this was the site of the largest mass execution. It doesn't mean that we're going to blame or point fingers, but it's important that we learn from those, from our history and make sure that at least for the next seven generations, we're telling the truth of the matter. At the same time, another tragedy was unfolding here along the river flats below Fort Snelling. All of the Dakota women and children were rounded up and marched here to a prison camp where they would spend a long, cold winter. Hundreds froze, hundreds died, and then down there, the disease and the lack of care and nutrition, more and more of our people died. You just think about wrapping your arms and your whole self around your child to keep them alive and that you would be willing to do anything to, to protect them. It's all a part of a Minnesota history that until very recently was not told from an indigenous perspective. John Croman, Care Love and News.